This is a 2008 Mazda Miata Grand Touring Edition. So you heard it, 2008 Mazda Miata. And what happened is she was driving home and it died on her, thinking it might be the fuel pump, but it wasn't the fuel pump. And got it diagnosed down to a bad computer, a bad engine control module. Then the control module actually sits below here. This was the air filter, right? Here's the new one. Here's a new one. That they shipped out. But the air filter sits here, right? Yes. Okay. So the air box. So we had to disconnect that and get all the air box out of the way. The first thing we're going to do, so we don't fry this new computer, is we're going to disconnect the battery from the negative side. So if you want to see the air box, this connector fits into that um, oblong piece there. And obviously this round piece fits in there. And that just kind of drops in, but it takes a little bit of work to maneuver it in and out. So Mazda didn't offer this computer. They can't get it anymore. Where did you get yours from? Flagship One. This is just a cover for the battery. If that's no, I'm what you want. I'm just trying oh. to get up and out. Yeah, you got it. Flagship1.com? Flagship One, or it, it might like, be. Like the number one, or is it, it spelled I, out? I think the website is fs one Inc. Dot com f s the number one i n c dot com and if you just google flagship one and spell it all out then it, it shows to their website tell them bunny's garage sent you did you yeah. get it up yeah what then you just decide to release it so right, that's our battery yeah we're going to disconnect the, oh, that's the negative right. that's correct okay you 10 millimeter 10 Pulling the negative side off because I don't want to fry the new computer. So this is actually, you guys look right down here. This is actually a cover. Let me try 10 millimeter again. We have a grounding strap that sits on top. So we got to move that out of the way. 10 millimeter. Okay, we got the screw off to the grounding cable. We'll have to take these off. That's loose. Oops. And we're going to need another one on this side, too. Yeah. Back here. Boy, those are really tight. You can get to this one here. I can see it. That's right. So there's there. two clips. Is it on the farthest one? Uh, yes. No, it's, it's on, on the, the closest, closest one. Yeah. Are we taking that off completely? Yeah, yeah. We have to. Don't lose it down there. Nope. You'll never find it. So is that a screw or not? Uh, it's a nut, the built-in washer. Yes. Yeah, so they both look the same. Let me see it. Yep. Same, same. Same. This is the tricky one now because of all these heavy cables. Wow. Oh, wait a second. They're not even using. Oh, interesting, John. The the cover plate is only held down here and here okay so we already took one off of the for actual the computer. computer and the second one for the computers back there but we can lift the cover plate and that'll help us get to this one down in the corner which is going to be here you go that one otherwise is going to be very difficult to get to but it'll, but moving the cover plate allowed me to get this out of the way and then you can break it free Just come in here with my index and thumb thing and thumb, index and thumb finger. Okay. Okay. That one's yeah, out. Another one. So we have all four out. Yep. And we can just lift this straight up. There we go. And then that should be able to just lift up, right? Bingo. There it is. There's a computer. Look at that. Okay, here's, now to open this up. Here's a replacement computer, obviously exactly the same. So you can see right here, the not the wear marks, but kind of where there's dirt and where it's clean. Correct. You can see the bolts were here, 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 and here are the nuts. And now we have to what, push those things down, pull, pull that back. Here's a, here's a tab right here that has to be pushed. I can easily push it down with a screwdriver, and then we can just roll it out. 
those go any farther. Okay. Okay. Baby. As you're pulling, this lever will come down a little bit farther. Okay, there's the old one. Just to compare. Pretty much the same thing. Same, same. And uh, when you go to the website to order this, they're going to ask for the VIN number because they are going to program it specifically for your VIN number. Boom. Lock and load. Okay, let's okay. see if it starts. Oh, go straight to the start, huh? Yeah, before we put it all back together. I'm going to reconnect the oh, yeah, negative the on the battery. The alarm works. I know that was one thing you were worried about. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Try it again. Bummer. That stinks. Hang on, let me try tightening up this battery cable real quick. Okay. I mean, I'm getting full lights inside. Were we getting full lights before though? Yes. We're getting, uh, when you clicked, when you went to AC, you got full lights everywhere. No, I mean, with the old computer, weren't they coming on or was nothing coming on? Oh, they all came on. Okay. It's not even trying to start. No. Think this battery could be dead? No, because it's giving me all the lights and stuff here, the radio. Should we run the computer code again? There probably isn't any. I wonder if this thing needs to be grounded. No, that wouldn't make sense. Maybe this wasn't the problem. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the computer and it was something else. Mazda diagnosed this. Here, hang on, I'm gonna plug in the sensor for the... Oh yeah, there's a... Okay, sensor into the box. Yeah, the mass airflow sensor. All right, try that. Nothing. So Mazda diagnosed this. It looks like they diagnosed it wrong. I mean, we could try putting it back in. And you know how they had that big grounding strap on the top? Sure. I don't think that but, would make I mean, a difference. That, that, come on, it doesn't, the grounding is strictly for the cover, but I guess then this touches the cover. I don't know. Pull up a little more. Why am I not? There we go. Yeah, that looks right here and there. Okay. There and there. And so we're thinking maybe the grounding there. strap has something to do with it, but I highly doubt it. So we'll just throw that down. Actually, you start on the back corner. Oh. Just I'm just doing the grounding okay. strap, right? We're going to try it again now with the computer grounded. Nothing. Dang, <laughs> that sucks. Oh. oh. All right. Well. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. We definitely lost. But at least you guys know where the computer's at on this Mazda Miata. I wonder if the fuse I wonder if a fuse blew when the computer went. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Checking the fuse the fuse for the fuel pump. It's good. As I drop it. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. Oh yeah, pretty clean shot. Oh yeah, because you can still see the arch. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have any ideas. Leave a comment down below what we should check. Oh yeah, if you, have, you guys have any ideas, let us know. Just quit driving. The lights on the dash come on. But nothing else. No clickage from the starter.